The problem with people being so heavily against mainstream media is that any other media that says the same thing as mainstream media is deemed invalid. There are people, whom you can find in the comment sections of my videos, who state that anyone who says anything that even has a slight resemblance of mainstream media is completely brainwashed by mainstream media, and that they basically worship at the altar of Hillary and identity politics. Basically, for some people, we're not even allowed to agree with mainstream media about anything. We're supposed to take Pizzagate seriously. We're supposed to worship at the altar of the alt-right because anything else would make us a regressive liberal cuckpussy. Even children's programming from the 60s and 70s like Sesame Street, The Electric Company, and Vegetable Soup that taught peace and harmony would be considered liberal brainwashing now. I mean, if people were to re-watch Star Trek The Next Generation, they would probably see the same sort of thing now. You know, and they didn't before, but the way that things are changing in our society, well, that seems to be what's going on. I mean, this is flat-out McCarthyism 2, the sequel. The public is going to have to basically start paying tribute to the government or be considered un-American because, after all, we're supposed to love and trust the government when a right-winger is in office, but never the left because, you know, communism. The buzzwords from 2001 to 2003 are all going to come back because Trump is here to make this country great again somehow, even though we were never really great, and Trump's function is to throw a wrench in our government, not to fix it. We're supposed to act like nothing potentially horrible happened when Trump won the election. Well, in the United States, only four other times has a president won where the electoral votes differed from the popular vote. 1824 with Adams, 1876 with Hayes, 1888 with Harrison, and 2000 with Bush. And now we have 2016 with Trump. But you know, I must be an agent of mainstream media, and I guess I'm a Hillary and identity politics worshiper because I said that. See, that's what's worrisome. I think Trump would be more than happy to abridge our freedom of speech as well as freedom of the press. He already wants to ban flag burning. Why wouldn't he eventually move on to try to ban things that say negative things about his administration? As I've said before, the right wing are the original SJWs. When right wingers push for censorship, they go to extremes. We haven't seen them promote censorship for a long time, but that could be just around the corner if Trump starts the ball rolling with making it illegal to burn the flag. What I have to laugh at is how people associate Hillary with thin-skinned people and Trump with thick-skinned people. Hillary has some of the thickest skin out there. She had to develop that thick skin to get where she was at. Trump has an incredibly thin skin, gets offended at just about everything, and then makes fucked up factually incorrect statements about Boeing, a company in which this country is proud of, and he caused their stocks to drop significantly because he's an incompetent fool. What do Trump supporters say? Well, you know, some sort of, they might as well just say because cabbage, right? But you know, saying that means I'm a mainstream media cuck and Hillary's pussy hair worshipper. Just two years ago, I would not be making this video, because two years ago the skeptics on the internet weren't heading so far to the right that their brains fell out to where they can't even recognize that they've went so extremely far to the right. As I suggested earlier, people can't even admit to getting anything from mainstream news anymore. They're called a whole shit ton of names that mean brainwashed leftist. And then the people calling them names have the audacity to call themselves liberals. You're basically telling people to believe in your right-wing views or they're brainwashed. It's kind of ironic. What I really find ironic are people like Live Life 8072 and to some degree Autopsy 87, who say they think people should be able to be themselves, and yet think everyone else except for them should march lock and step with whatever the government and government agents want, as long as it's kind of militaristic, somewhat right-wing and authoritarian, because somehow it's not authoritarian or totalitarian if the right-wing does it. It's only bad if the left does it. You know, of course. Because you know his spiel. You need to comply. It's like a military worshipping kind of mindset, like everyone should think the military is the number one thing we should work towards being more like, especially in public schools. But then fill it with virtue signaling that people should be themselves, sort of like receiving a beautifully written Hallmark card from someone who hates you. Just because something is on mainstream media doesn't mean it's wrong. Just because something is on alternative media doesn't mean it's right. But try to get a lot of so-called skeptics on YouTube to admit that is like pulling teeth. Right now, it's all about the fact that media put Hillary up on a pedestal and didn't have the election pinned down very well at all. It's like, well, they were wrong on that, so they must be wrong all the time. Sort of like how people for decades have been talking about police brutality towards black people, but were never believed, and now that there's video evidence of this, people still make up excuses for the police. 
And then if there's ever a hate crime that was faked, well, then they're all faked. Just like if there was one false rape accusation at a college, it must mean that most rape accusations are fake as well. And shut up, you stupid whiny women, and just take it because you're just regressive cucks who want to destroy men's rights. Yes, mainstream media is all about the money. Just like YouTubers who are in it primarily for the money, which makes me laugh a little bit, and I'm sure you can understand why. It's bad when TV media does it, but it's great when YouTubers do the same thing. Yeah, the hypocrisy is blinding. This sort of thing happening to our society is exactly why people think fascism is coming. People aren't even aware of how extreme things are changing towards the right. Things people support now that five years ago they would never in their worst nightmares have supported. The extreme ways that people have changed, and it's all documented here on YouTube, is nothing short of mind-boggling how people can't see how we've changed. And there was a period where I was sucked into that same vortex of thought, and then I eventually got off that ride and said, what the fuck was I doing on that ride? That's insane. As I've said before, the first time I started seeing this stuff was from people like Pat Condell, people like Marmite Man 4, a bunch of people who had White Rabbit in their names, but their channels were terminated a long time ago. I mean, most of these channels went away a long time ago, and people didn't really complain when they went away except by the white nationalists. Now that the whole Pat Condell and Marmite Man 4 crap has become the YouTube mainstream, Google can't keep up with it anymore, and every time they try, people start screaming, My freedom of speech! My freedom of speech! Even though it was standard for Google to terminate channels for much less in years past. But you know, it's all some liberal conspiracy mainstream media takeover of our brains, as people like Computing Forever likes to suggest. They're getting into our brains, and it's tragic and horrible, and we'll have to communicate through peer-to-peer -peer connections in the deep web, and, well, man, the stuff that comes out of his mouth. I mean, the government could do this if things got bad, but honestly, the alt-right in all of its forms is bigger now than it ever was. People claiming that they're being censored now, and that somehow in the past they were censored less, is just pure bullshit. They have things reversed, and people are meaner and act out with less thought than ever. And then the stuff coming out of the mouths of Bering fans. Look, I think Bering has some good qualities and some awful qualities. But for people to do the whole free Bering thing, Jesus fucking Christ, how stupid are some of you people? The SJWs caused this. No, you stupid mindless drones. The people who reported it make no fucking difference. It was eventually going to get reported, but you have to get on your anti-SJW kick and get all self-righteous and full of yourselves, puffing out your shoulders without a care in the world what the laws are, what the terms of service on YouTube are. Everyone needs to support blatantly violating copyright laws or they're terrible people and how could you be so mean? That was Baring's income. Well, he made a stupid mistake. And he's known, and many others have known for a long time, that he stole that character from Total Drama Island. He had a lot of time to start using a different uh, icon, a different character. But, you know, uh, <laughs> people are trying to say, oh, well, well, they're almost the same. And no, sorry, no amount of vanilla ice lamesplaining will change that. But, you know, as long as it isn't on the left, it's fine. Anything goes. But if it's on the left, you better watch out. Uh-oh. Communism. Totalitarianism. They're coming for your men's rights and your guns. It's like people are actually trying to suggest that one can be liberal but be on the right side of the political spectrum. It's like, no. If you're on one of the right quadrants, you lose the ability to call yourself a liberal and hold any validity. If you're on the left side of one of the right quadrants, you could maybe call yourself a centrist, but not a liberal. Sorry. If you do want to mislabel yourself so you can morally feel better about having the position you do, that goes into the same territory as religious people supporting fucked up things because of the love and righteousness of a god of the Christian Bible. Don't forget to smile. Atheism is unstoppable and live life are watching you through that little hole in the ceiling. Don't say anything mainstreamy or the wrath of cuckhood and pussiness will squeeze your genitals with a torque wrench. Enjoy the mud, I suppose. We're all lying in the mud in front of Prosser's bulldozer.